الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم اما بعد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد بعد عوز بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين صدق الله العظيم All praise and glory be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him, we glorify him, we believe in him we put our trust in him and we seek refuge in him we seek forgiveness from him and we seek refuge in him from our evil deeds and the evil consequences of our misdeeds bad deeds we bear testimony to the fact that there is no god but allah without any partner equal or rival and we also testify that nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is allah's worshiping servant and final messenger the chief of all the prophets the last chain in the chain of the prophethood may allah send peace and blessing upon him and his family members and his uh, companions allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran ya ayyuhal ladheen ya ayyuhal ladheen amanu O believers, ittaqullah, fear Allah, observe taqwa of Allah, be mindful of Allah, wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen, and be with the truthful ones. So brothers and sisters, this is a verse from Surah Al-Tawbah, Surah Al-Bara'ah, verse number 119-119, asdiqah, ikhtiyaru siddiq, adopting friends, making friends. So friendship is, we all irrespective of our faith we all are our sons of adam alayhi salam we have the same progenitor so that requires mutual honor respect love caring for each other some many of the people they don't share our beliefs our belief system our uh, values but still they they have some other values other system but still they are sometime our neighbors they are our peers and colleagues and they may be in a limited way they can be also our friends as long as they assist us and we assist them in good deeds they are friends of course the very close attachment that should be and that that is uh, reserved for people of our faith because friendship with other people should not lead us towards leaving our own beliefs mazalla so we it's okay to keep friendship with the other people but we should observe our beliefs and let them know we adhere to our beliefs and some of the values we adhere to brother and sister you know they are universal they they are they belong to every human being and they they may be canadian values and islam uh, requires us to be good citizen good community members good neighbors good friends good colleagues good uh, good employee good bosses so there is no harm in keeping uh, friendship with them as long as friendship with others do not affect our beliefs for example we have colleague we have friend but when it comes to eating and drinking certain particular things we let them know that we don't eat uh, these things we don't drink these things so there is nothing wrong with that and still they are friends they are good uh, good colleagues good friends good neighbors so we should keep in touch with them islam does not want us to just remain aloof to not to be sociable no we have to be sociable but we have to uh, follow our uh, beliefs and uh, put uh, the guidance of quran and sunnah into our practice and then keep keep uh, relations with everyone but the close attachment should be with the one who not only shares our beliefs but also his company makes us a better person 
if a particular person's friendship or companionship or relation with him does not make us better then there is something wrong there is something missing in that relationship so that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala woman asdaqu min allahi qila the most truthful one is the one allah the most truthful speech is from allah and all his messengers prophets they are the most truthful keep in view the life of our beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam even before announcement of the prophethood he was known among the kuffar among the non believers as sadiq al amin he was known as a sadiq al amin so this nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is our role model we should also follow nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam example emulate him in everything in every aspect of our life so that these people around whether they are the people of the different faith or the of our own faith then they come to know that this person this brother this sister is sadiq or sadiqa she is truthful he is truthful they are honest they will not never cheat us so this is how we should be so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is emphasizing that be with the truthful ones so we have to observe the company of truthful ones and we have to emerge in the society in the community as truthful one and don't forget brothers and sisters that this thing is start from the home if we are truthful at home then inshallah will emerge will rise among the truthful ones so people will come to know that this is a truthful one but mazallah if our attitude at home is a, is like uh, cheating or lying uh, with our elders or with our uh, spouses then then we cannot uh, be known as truthful ones people will come to know that this person is wrong so brother and sister let's come back to this topic uh, in particular friendship is so much important that allah subhanahu wa taala has mentioned the friendship with the relatives with our close relatives look at the ayah of surah an-nur allah subhanahu wa taala when he gave the permission to sahaba that they when people entrust you with your with your the keys of your home you can eat from them or you can eat at the houses of these and these so there is no haraj there is no restriction upon the disabled ones upon the blind ones upon the sick ones or upon your own selves we all we all are being at the sayer that there is no restriction upon you that you eat that you eat from your own houses min buyutikum aw buyuti abaikum from your father's houses from your mother's houses i'll just mention the translation of the ayah it's a long ayah surah an-nur or from your brother's houses or from your the houses of your sisters or from the houses of your paternal uncle the brother of our fathers or abu yuti ummatikum or our aunties paternal aunties sisters of our father or or from the houses of our maternal uncles the brothers of our moms or mater, uh, maternal uh, um, aunties like uh, sisters of our moms then allah subhanahu wa taala mention or from the uh, people you you have a hand over them from your servants house or sadiqikum here in here it please note aw sadiqikum or from the houses of your friends so look at the fact that friendship is so much important that allah subhanahu wa taala has put it together his his combined combining the uh, this friendship with the relationship uh, with the relatives un- fathers mothers sisters brothers uncles aunties so this is so much important and allah subhanahu wa taala uh has mentioned this because some uh, the friendship friendship means uh, friendship sometimes translates into deep love deep attachment and that's why nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has emphasized that when we make friend we we look to it that who we, we are befriending who we are befriending nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this is a riwaya from uh, sunan abi daud imam abu daud related it al mar'u ala deeni khalilihi fal yanzur ahadukum man yukhalil a person a man or is all includes uh, women as well is upon the deen of his or her friends so you look to it that who you are befriending and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that la tashab illa mu'mina keep company with the believers and in one hadith it is mentioned that uh, nobody should eat our food except except muttaqi so what does it mean we we should not provide food to uh, those people who are not muttaqi no it does not mean that we have to help the poor and needy 
وٹ ایور دے آر مورل اسٹینڈرڈ دے آر متقی اور غیر متقی وی کین پرووائڈ فوڈ ٹو دیم وی کین اسسٹ دیم وی کین لک ٹو دیئر نیڈس ان پرٹیکولر سم سم پور اینڈ نیڈی پیپل اور سم پور اینڈ نیڈی سیکشنز آف دی سوسائٹی بٹ اٹ مینس دیٹ ود دا خصوصیت ان پرٹیکولر وین یو انوائٹ سم ون وین یو بریک دا بریڈ وتھ سم ون وین یو پارٹیک فوڈ وتھ سم ون دین یو ہیو ٹو آبزرو دا کمپنی آف اے پائس ون سو دیر نو ہارم ان فیڈنگ پیپل بٹ یو شوڈ ہیو اے کلوز کانٹیکٹ کانٹیکٹ وتھ پائس پیپل سو دیٹ ہز کمپنی آلسو میکس یو پائس ہز کم ہیز رائچیس شی از رائچیس سو ہر کمپنی اور ہز کمپنی میکس یو رائچیس اور پائس سو ناؤ لک ایٹ دی بینیفٹ آف دی فرینڈشپ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ سیٹ ان دا قرآن قرآن کریم دیٹ دیر از آیا ان سورت الزخرف دیٹ الخلا یوم عظیم باد ہم لباد ان ادب المتقین دیٹ دیر ول بی دس ول بی سچ اے ڈے میننگ دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ دیٹ فرینڈس ول ٹرن اگینسٹ ایچ ادر ایکسیپٹ دا متقین ایکسیپٹ دا ون ہو ہیو ہو ابزرو تقوا آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ وائی بیکاز وین دا کفار فرینڈس آر بٹوین کفار آر فرینڈس بٹوین ایچ ادر اینڈ دے مس گائڈ ایچ ادر دین دے ول بلیم بلیم ایچ ادر آن دا ڈے آف دا ججمنٹ بٹ وین یو کیپ دا کمپنی آف دا پائس ون رائچیس ون یو لرن فرام ہم گڈ ہیبٹس گڈ مینرز اینڈ مورلس دین اٹ ول بینیفٹ اس ان دس ورلڈ اینڈ ان دی آخرا اینڈ دس کمپنی دس کمپینین شپ اینڈ فرینڈ شپ ول ریمین انٹیکٹ ان شاء اللہ آن دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ ناؤ لک آئی گیو یو ٹو ایگزامپل that how much benefit friendship gives you in the matter of the deen and dunya as well of course when your deen is correct when our when we are on our straight path on a straight path guided by quran and sunnah brother and sister our dunya will no, not go anywhere when when we straighten our deen inshallah allah subhanahu wa taala will improve our dunya as well this is not going to we are not going to lose anything it's a win win situation we will never lose anything we Purify our religion for the sake of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide us everything inshallah we need in this world. And he knows better that what do we need in this dunya and in the akhirah. So look at two friends. I give you two examples of the friends that how much benefit they gave, uh, these friends gave to their friends. One example is from a believer. And the other example is from the kafir. polytheist mushrikeen disbelievers first example is of a believer sayyidina abu bakr as siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala no he is the first male adult first person male among males and adults who accepted islam now look at his look at the uh, uh, fact that hazrat abu bakr as siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala no is known as a friend of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he benefited from that friendship of course and now how did حضرت ابو بکر صدیق رضی اللہ تعالیٰ نے بینیفٹیڈ ہز فرینڈس سو ہی ہیز فرینڈس عثمان ابن عفان رضی اللہ تعالیٰ ابو عبیدہ طلحہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ زبیر رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ سعد ابن ابی وقاص رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ سیدنا عبد الرحمن بن عوف رضی اللہ عنہ سو آل دیز پیپل فرام اشرا مبشرہ ہو آر گیون گلیڈ ٹائڈنگس دیز آر فرام دا ٹین پیپلس ہو آر گیون گلیڈ ٹائڈنگس بائی رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان دیئر لائف ٹائمس سو ایٹ لیسٹ five from these six people or six from these all these 10 people they were they came to islam by the sohbat friendship companionship of hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala no and through his motivation through his persuasion through his preaching and teaching so what how much benefit can you imagine can anybody benefits uh, Uh, provide benefit to his own friends like that the benefit hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala no provided to his friend that these people five people they came to islam they became people of jannah they will be given jannah not only that but they were given glad tidings of jannah in this very world in the, in their own lifetime and look at the example of non believers how much had damage how much harm a person can cause to his friend look at the non believers example abu jahal Amr bin Hasham, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked for the hidayah of either Umar bin Khattab radhi Allah ta'ala no or Umar, Amr bin Hasham, whoever is better in the sight of Allah. So Allah gave guidance to Hazrat Umar Farooq uh, uh, al-Azam radhi Allah ta'ala no. But Abu Jahal, his fate was kufr. So how much damage he caused, how much harm he caused to his friend, how many friends he had who died with him on the kufr, on the path of disbelief. Walid bin Maghira, 
he was from kuffar he was friend of abu jahl he died on kufr as ibn wail he died on kufr though his son accepted islam amr bin asr dilla taala no uqba bin abi muid he died on kufr abi ubay bin khalf all these four these are from the rusai quraish chief tens of the um, uh, quraish kuffar they all died and most of them died on the day of the badr with with abu jahl so what what a harmful fate and what harm did uh, you, you can you imagine how much harm abu jahl caused to his friends by being on kufr by leading them to uh, on kufr and by motivating them to remain steadfast on kufr just like the believers motivate each other to remain steadfast on islam so we should try to make such friends that who are steadfast in this religion of islam and who guide us protect us and who help us in being steadfast on the islam sorry now another hadith that uh, gives the example of um, uh, the uh, friendship Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave the example of a good friend or good companion <coughs> sorry as Jalisus Saleh good companion and he gave the example of Jalisus Saleh as a person who is carrying the perfume or who is a perfumer that his company will benefit us either we are going to buy perfume from him or like one of our friend is uh, brings perfumes here so he either gives us a perfume we sometime uh, take from him and he applies on our clothing so either we buy from him or we get perfume from him for free gratis he applies on that so we, uh, we are going to benefit in either case win win situation but the bad companion is like the person like the iron smith no don't don't think about that iron smith is a bad profession just an example to 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 imagine the harms of bad friendship that when he is working on his bellows when he is working on his is bla, blasting in his furnace then either that that uh, flying flames are going to ha- damage our clothing or they are going to bother us with their bad order so just an example nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave the perfect example because he is a universal teacher he is the perfect teacher so he gave example from our own daily lives to make us understand those things which we cannot understand otherwise so all these ahadith brothers and sister and the example uh, i have given you from the quran and sunna and the life of sayyidina abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala no they prove that the good friend the pious friend the, is the basis his characteristics is iman and taqwa that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kunu ma'as sadiqin and real friendship is that that is on the basis of iman and taqwa and if it is not that then it will become a cause uh, it will become a source of regret remorse on the day of judgment as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran al akhillau yawmadhin ba'dhum li ba'din adubun illa al muttaqin all friendship many friends they will turn against each other on the day of judgment except muttaqin now sometime we use the word of khalil close friend for our best friends so what does it mean that there are many interpretation just just to have an understanding of this relationship between friends and khalil that some people say that they when they become khalil it is dry from khalal gaps so because they become khalil they fill in each other they fill the gaps of each other they rectify each other's faults or it means the sandy pathway the uh, the pathway in uh, which which is sandy so when you are treading upon a path which is sandy which is difficult then of course you need a friend or companion just like we need provisions waters and uh, food then we also need someone who is uh, Uh, going with us and he, uh, then the the path becomes easier so brother and sister tawhid the sirat mustaqim also allah allah made it easy for us alhamdulillah we we got iman alhamdulillah in our household but look at the example of uh, sahaba ikram they they had iman with difficulty people were torturing them people were oppressing them still there are many uh, people in this ummah who are being tortured because of their faith so brother and sister when we have good friends companions allah makes so many things easy in our life or it or some people say it it is khalil is derived from khulla the khaslat or characteristics because that's why you see sayyidina ibrahim alayhi salam was called close friend of allah 
Khalil because he had deep intense love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he entrusted everything in his life and trusted all of his affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked for his life, he put forward his life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked for the life of his son, he put forward his, uh, the life of his son. Allah, uh, Allah asked him to leave the company of uh, idolaters, he left the company of idolaters. So that, that's all happened in the life of Khalilullah alayhi salatu wa salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send peace and blessing upon our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and our father, spiritual father, Allah's Khalil Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. So this also proves, the example of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam also proves that the relationship in this dunya, companionship in this dunya, they are not stable. They are not worthy of giving any due weight or importance unless and until they lead us, they guide us, they improve us, strengthen us in the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And so that's why muttaqeen, uh, they, they adopt, uh, they observe close friendship with muttaqeen. Now, there are some guidance from, uh, uh, from uh, some sage of this ummah and the previous ummah, like Luqman Hakim. He is a, one of the great sage uh, from the previous uh, nations, ummah, which Allah subhanahu wa who, uh, whose name is mentioned. In fact, one full surah is named after him, Surah Luqman in the Quran Majid. He advised to his son, uh, son and this, this I'm relating from Kitab Zuhad by Imam, uh, Imam Abdullah ibn Bawari, great muhaddis, great, uh, uh, pious, uh, one of great uh, pious predecessor of uh, this ummah. So Luqman Hakim said to his son that, and you know that Luqman Hakim, uh, uh, gave so many advices in Quran Kareem to his son. Uh, those are contained in Surah Luqman. So one of these advice, which is in Kitab Zuhad, that the one who adopts bad friends, he will not remain safe. And the one who will adopt good friends, he will earn bounties. He will earn ghanima, bounties, good provision, good, uh, good treasure. Imam Zainul Abidin, uh, Hazrat uh, uh, Ali ibn Hussain radiallahu ta'ala, no, the great grandson of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa He advised to his son, Imam Baqar or Maham, that don't adopt these five people as friends. Don't even talk to them. And uh, there are reasons for that. So the, these are bad people. So if you reverse it, the reverse characteristic, opposite characteristics, if you find, then you make him a um, friend or her, make him or her a friend. So for, he said, Fasik. Fasik means disobedient ones. Don't make him your friend because he will sell you in less than, he will sell you for less than a morsel. Now, what could be a less than a morsel? This is my morsel. I part to eat from uh, my plate. One more morsel. What could be less than that? So, the ulama scholars mentioned that the, the less than a morsel means that you hope to realize, to get one morsel, then even that hope is not fulfilled. So, he is such a person. Or bakhil. If a person is known as stingy, then don't uh, make him your friend because maybe he will sever his contact with you. He will break relationship with you when you need him most. Or the liar, the one who speaks lies or uh, he is not truthful because he will, like a mirage, he will make appear those things which are distant. So he will make appear to those things closer to you. But sometime, the closer things, he will make them appear far. Or the foolish one, the stupid one. Why? Because sometime a person who is known as stupid, who is known for his stupidity, maybe sometime he wants to benefit you, but he ends up in causing harm to you. So now reverse these characteristics. So who should we adopt as our good friends? Instead of Fasik, we should observe the friendship with obedient ones, who, those who are hukumbardar, who carry, who execute the commands of Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Instead of bakhil, the one who is generous, who, one, the one who helps others, likes to help others. And instead of liar, the one who is truthful, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I mentioned the ayah in the very beginning, wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. And the one and another uh, characteristic he mentioned, uh, Hazrat Imam Ali, uh, uh, Hazrat Ali bin Hussain radiallahu ta'ala, no? that don't make relationship with the one who is Qatir Rahim. Because Qatir Rahim, the one who breaks the ties of kinship, 
the one who breaks that uh, who severs contacts relation uh, with, with the relatives then he will he will not enter jannah this is in the quran unless he makes sincere toba or mends his relationship so because this person who is a qati rahim who severs contacts with who breaks the ties of kinship relationship he has been cursed in allah's book upon three places so they they are two three aya uh, three aya which which curse those people imam ghazali rahimullah taala also uh, gave some advice in this regard that who should we make friend the one uh, the one who is intellect now see these are all the reverse characteristics of those we mentioned regarding bad friends intellect the one who is intelligent because he he truly understands the situation and he if he wants to benefit you he will surely benefit you truthful ones because uh, the truthful ones they are uh, true to themselves they are true to the society true to the friend true to allah so they will never uh, cheat you and the one who upholds the relationship because when he is good in maintaining relationship with his relatives he will also be good with uh, friends he will not uh, leave them uh, alone so the, these uh, these are some of the um, uh, guidance uh, points regarding uh, uh, friendship and a uh, few more ahadith regarding uh, good friends uh, and the uh, importance of being sociable and making friends so we should not just uh, remain to ourselves that i am okay at, at my home at my own place so um, unless you are observing uh, isolation due to uh, the c- current situation so nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam emphasized these things that we have to be sociable we have to be good with the people our people is skills up our people, relationship with people would be good nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the al mu'minu ma lafu wa la khayra fi man la ya'lam wa la yulaf a believer is sociable meaning with others we and who is not such a there is no good in him who is not sociable and people don't become sociable with him so this socialization is very much important that's how we we uh, we strengthen our relationship that's how we maintain our friends that's how we become good neighbors good community members and good uh, uh, good people in the society and allah subhanahu wa taala also emphasized jamiat wa tasimu bi hablillahi jamian wa la tafarraqu hold fast to hold all of you to all together you hold fast all together to the rope of allah and don't be divided so what's a, what's the benefit in being divided look at the community relationship when we come to the masjid when we go to the community center when we meet people when we keep in touch with the people we know who is who is suffering who who is enjoying we can congratulate them on their happiness and if they are suffering we can co- commiserate with them we can help them we can uh, at least we can offer our help or at least we can make dua for them so that's the importance and also nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that al mu'minu miratul mu'min wal mu'minu akhul mu'minu yakuf wa lahi dayyatuhu wa yahutuhu wa yahutuhu min waraihi the previous riwayah for, uh, was from uh, imam bahiqi shahbul iban and this riwayah is from imam tirmizi's uh, jami tirmizi and uh, imam abu daud sunna nabi daud so nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that believer is a mirror for a believer and a believer is a brother of a believer he safeguards him from destruction and protects him in his absence and last but not least nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave the example of this umma all believers as one single body if one limb of the body that's in pain then the whole body entire body feels pain and uh, nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that the solitude is better uh, the importance of good and bad friend to wrap it up that al wahdatu khairu min jalis su that solitude being alone is better than a bad friend wal jalisu salihu khairu min al wahda but a good friend good companion is better than remaining uh, alone uh, in uh, solitude wam laul khairu khairu min sukut and speaking good is better than being silent was sukutu khairu min laishar and speaking bad saying bad and remaining silent is better than speaking bad so may allah subhanahu wa taala give us tawfiq to make good friends and fulfill the rights of our uh, muslim brothers and our friends and be uh, make us allah subhanahu may allah subhanahu wa taala make us good friends good family members good community members and good believers now, all these things return to one thing we we, we are we, when we want to be a good believer we have to be a good friend good relative good spouses good husband good 
good father as well may allah subhanahu wa taala make us from those may allah subhanahu wa taala accept what has been said and what has been heard wa ma tawfiqi illa billah alayhi tawakkaltu ilayhi unib fajazakumullahu khair fajazakumullahu khaira and subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahil aliyyil azim